Okay, in this uh, tutorial we're going to look at making a simple fish. Um, just a few things first. One of the things I've done is I've created a new project, a uh, fish project. Just keep everything neat and tidy and now everything will be saved in there. The other thing I'm going to do is start adding some of the um, tools that I'm going to use into my custom toolbar. So, uh, let's just go up to the, make sure we're in polygon. Go up to Edit Mesh, and I'm going to Control Shift, click on Extrude uh, on Interactive Split Tool, on Insert Edge Loop Tool, Slide Edge Tool. Okay, just so for now. I've also got in there um, just the polygonal cube as well, so that's the first thing I'm going to start with. I'm just going to click on that, and I'm just going to drag this out. Sort to the dimensions that I want, the overall um, bounding box around our fish. So let's put this into shaded mode, 5, or um, you can go into shading and just go smooth shade all. So we need to add more segments to this before we start modeling. Uh, remember, I was saying that the more um, sections or sub objects you have, the more detail you can put into the object itself. So right now this is too basic an object to start with. So I'm just going to go in, make sure I'm in the uh, channel box. So I'm going to go down to my inputs and into my polycube and I'm just going to set my subdivision width to 2. This will be useful for a symmetry line uh, for when we come to work in, in that kind of way. I'm going to set my height to 3 and I'm going to set my depth to around 4 or 5 as a starting point. I'll do 5 for this. So then what we need to do is get into um, sub-object mode. So remember there's a couple of ways to do this. We can just go into our component type. Uh, we can oops, press F8 to go into our component mode. But I prefer to right click and just go into my sub objects here. So we have vertex, edge, face are going to be the main ones we're using. So I'm going to go into vertex first. And uh, there's a couple of ways we can start to select these vertices. If I just drag this round, uh, just remembering that any time we click or we drag click over something, you've got to be aware that anything within that selection is going to get selected, even if it's on the other side of the object. Um, so we can do one of two things. We can rotate this round so we can just see this set of vertices or this uh, this row of vertices, sorry, column of vertices without selecting any of these. So we drag around those. If you do add extra things to it, remember we can just either control drag or we can just shift drag uh, around those again. Another way that we can do this is going to the four panel view. Um, so we can either go over here to our four panel view, and then in any one of the viewports, depending which is the best one for the job. Um, so in this case, this one over here, our right view, we can just drag and select around those as well. Okay. So I'm going to maximize this view. I'm just going to make sure this is active and press space quickly. So this is our side view. And what I'm going to do is start shaping this, uh, just using the Scale tool and the Move tool, first of all. So I'm going to drag around this first section, this is going to be the head section. And with this, I'm just going to go into the Scale tool, R on the keyboard. So I'm just going to scaling this in. I'm going to go right over to the tail section. And what I'm going to do with this is just create, not the tail fin, but the body up to the tail fin. So again, just bringing this down. With these middle two, I'm just going to drag select around both of those, and again just using the scale, just on the y-axis, I'm going to start bringing this up. What I might do now is move across to the move tool, just maybe shape these out a little bit. And you can just go on um, scaling as you need to. 
I just may take these as well and just scale those in a little bit. Okay, something like that. So I've only been working on one axis while I've been scaling. Um, and this can be quite important. So, um, you know, just dragging this down just means we're not changing these vertices on any other axes, just this Y axis. So let's look at the top of this now. So I'm just going to select these end ones just to remind me which, uh, which side of it is the mouth. Press space quickly. Or again, we can click on our four viewport. And then I'm going to click into this top view and press space. Let's just zoom in on this. So this is the mouth section, this is the tail section. Again, I'm just going to shape these out. So just using my scale tool again. This time I'm going on the x-axis. You can see this down here, x-axis. Uh, I'm going to scale these in. Again, I'm going to do the mouth and then the tail fin. And then the other parts I'm going to scale out as necessary. Maybe something like that. Just press space again. Click in my perspective view. Press space. And there we have a basic shape for the fish. There's a few more things we could do with it. Right at the front now, we've got this very flat area. So I'm just going to select these vertices. Just have a check around there. Uh, again, if you don't feel comfortable selecting in perspective view, you can always go back to the four panel viewport, select in there. Um, you could always come back to perspective view to do the adjustments, but again, those can be done in these flat views as well. So we're just going to the move tool, W. Let's just move these forward a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to preview this in soft shade. So if I press 3 on the keyboard, there you go. Now you can see from this, um, we're getting some roundness on the corners, but it's quite flat on the sides top and the bottom. So we need to do something about that. We need to carry on rounding these shapes off. So let's just press 1. And what I'm going to do first of all is deal with this middle line. Let's give this a bit more shape. So if I right click over the object and go into edge mode, select on one of these and then double shift select on one of the others. And that just gets the whole um, loop of that. So again in scale tool I am going to go into the middle of this time and I'm going to uniformly scale. So I'm going to scale on all axes just to bring this out a little bit. Okay. I might just scale this up a little more just on the Y. Let's just do it like that. And again, just press 3. So you can see a little bit rounder on the top now. I'm starting to get that roundness in there. So back to one, and with this one, I'm going to um, just, just click on my selection tool. I'm going to click on one, shift double click, shift click on another edge, shift double click, and that'll give me both of those sets of edges. Back to the scale tool, and this time I'm just going to scale out on the x axis. Let's have a look at that. So you can see we've got a lot more roundness in there now. Um, and it's completely up to you. Obviously the shape of your fish will denote this shape. But just a quick idea to start getting roundness into something that was originally a box. Just reshaping the vertices out. Scaling them against each other really helps. Okay. Now with the back piece, to start creating this fin, what we can actually start doing is extruding from this area. So I'm just going to right click, go to face, and I'm going to shift, select these. Um, let's have a look around there. Just make sure you've got them all selected. So I'm going to go to my extrude tool. Of course, you can go to edit mesh, extrude. I'm just going to bring the gizmo um, back to its original point, and if you can see there, the axis of this is not flat um, to these polygons, kind of shaping out. So if I was to pull this out on any of these axes, 
we may not get the desired result. It's actually going out against these normals. So what I'm going to do is click this little icon here, and that sets that gizmo tool so it's flat against those polys. Um, so I'm going to just pull this out on these z-axis and then I'm going to scale this up just by clicking on this scale box and let's just drag this up in the Y OK go to my selection tool, just Q and just to get rid of that tool and then I'm going to press G on the keyboard which just uh, redoes the last tool so because my extrude was the last tool I used pressing G brings that back again. Again, just looking at this gizmo, I just want to make sure click on this, so we're coming out flat, bring that out again, again click on my scale cube and just bring this out as well. And again, depending on the um, detail of the tail fin, it's completely up to you how you want to go with it. What I could do on this, uh, okay, so let's what I can do is carry on further with this. I'm just going to shift. Select everything. Click and then shift click on these. Uh, and again, I'm just going to do another extrude on this. So just pressing G again to get that tool back. Let's just drag these out a little bit. Okay. I've just pressed Q again to go to my selection tool. And I'm going to right click and just click on edges. We have this problem down here, just where these have extruded out, uh, where this is kind of going in a little bit. So if we just click on this edge, and shift select this edge at the other side, go into my scale tool, I'm just going to scale these out a little bit, just to bring those so I can see those out. And uh, I'm now going to go into vertices mode. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm just going to grab these two vertices, don't forget to zoom around, look around this, see what you've got. So I can see I've actually got three selected. So if I just control drag around that, I'm just going to scale these up and just move these back a little bit. What I'm trying to do at the minute is just keeping some of these lines quite um, neat. So let's get this one and this one. Let's just pull these back as well. And maybe scale those back down. So the rest of the job is just tweaking vertices. Um, so if we go in, start dragging around these using the move tool. We can start creating whatever kind of shape uh, we want. So all this, just the move tool. I'm quite a flat uh, side on view, so I know that I'm pretty much getting the vertices I should be. I uh, remember, you know, double check if you're not sure. Okay. What I might do overall is just thin this entire section out. So if I just go to somewhere around the top and just select all of these verts, again, just checking around. Use my scale tool and just flatten that out. Okay, um, that's the end of this part, just the shaping of this. Uh, in the next time, I will look at starting to do things like extrude the fins and create eye sockets.